happy to be up at WBLS with Chris Mercado. Did I pronounce that right? Mercado. Mercado. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so Chris, tell us what you do here at WBLS. Um, technically, I'm Creative Services Director. I'm head of production for all three stations. Wow. WBLS, Hot 97, and WLIB. Wow. They keep so, you busy? I pretty much live here. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what your job consists of on a daily basis. Okay. Um, I create copy. I write scripts. I send them out to our voice guy for our campaigns. The audio comes back, and I create promos. Okay. And the promos are designed to get you very excited to want to come to our events. Oh, okay. Um, on top of that, I oversee commercial production, and uh, that's what keeps the lights on. Oh, yes. And uh, making sure my team is, is doing what they're supposed to be doing. When you say that's what keeps the light on, talk a little bit more about that for me. Sure. Commercials are the blood of a radio station. See, people people need to hear this because we often think, me, you know, I don't know about radio, really, mm -hmm. on the inside, and I wonder, how do they keep running? Where mm -hmm. does the money come from? So. Right. Well, it's, it's knowing that we have... Say for the New York cluster, we have over 5 million listeners. Okay. Um, so we go to clients, our sales team goes to clients and says, hey look, you want in? Your message could be heard by this many people, yes. specifically who you want. Yes. And they sell that for a certain rate amount, and that's how we make money. Mm -hmm. So even though people go, oh, commercials, commercials, without the commercials, no one's paying the bills. Yes. So we yes. have to have them, and I have to oversee that. So um, on radio, broadcast radio, as opposed to internet radio, what is the difference when it comes to advertising and things of that sort? Because do you put the two together? Do you work with internet radio too? Is that something outside of your realm? That's outside of us. But we do have a digital component to the radio station that has its own stream of money and rates and everything else because our brands are so strong that we do go international. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, account executives that focus just on that part of it, mm -hmm. uh, on the digital side, and it's a whole other revenue stream. Let me ask you... And in your job, your day to day, what's the hardest thing about your job for a student or a person who's trying to get into radio who will want to be in your seat? What's the hardest thing about your job? Um, balancing creativity with administration. Okay, yeah. So making sure forms are filled out, clients are happy, and saying, okay, how do I make something so exciting that everybody goes, I need to be there? Yes. Because you could be, there, there are two different ways of thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're filling out forms and paperwork and going, okay, let me get into my mind's eye yes. and create something brand new. It's the balance. So when you do events, how do people um, become a part of your events if they would like to be a part of your event? Uh, from the client side? Yes. Or, well, um, if they want, if they have their own event that they're doing, yes, that's one thing. But if they want to be part of our events, for example, the Circle of Sisters Expo, uh, we have over 50,000 listeners that come to the Jacob Javits Center every single year. Mm -hmm. And we advertise on air saying, hey, if you're a vendor or you want to be a vendor, come on out, sell your product. And we have rates for that and we have booths and you get to see all those people. And we put it on the radio like crazy. And how do you guys pick the panelists, the talent? Mm -hmm. How does that all work? As part of programming, which is the department that's the uh, parent of mine production, mm -hmm. and our program director and assistant program director strategize uh, with our general manager and say, okay, who does our audience love the most? Mm -hmm. What names click? And what's their credibility to this particular subject? Yes. And then what panels would affect our audience the most? And after that, it's start making the calls. We can get to anybody. Oh, nice. We get yes. to anybody, and I say that with confidence. We can get to anybody you we get to. With confidence. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, if, if we could have the president there, he knows who we are. Yes. You know, it'd yes. be great to have him there. You know, so we, we can reach anybody. How long have you been here? Um, totally in the business, a little bit over 26 years. Mm -hmm. At uh, this particular location, a little bit over 19 years. Okay, so what was it that intrigued you, if I could say that? Mm -hmm. or what was it that made you want to be in radio? behind the scenes because you know everybody wants to be the personality absolutely what made it click for you that i want to be behind the scenes well you know what it is um like most people in in business you start as a musician or whatever i started as a dj at 14. oh nice you know so automatically the ears were like hmm you know what makes people dance and as a dj you're pretty much a program director yes you're programming your set yes you know um, and I love being the guy getting everybody to go, oh, yes. you know, and I said, this is pretty cool. So I like doing that. And every once in a while, I grab the mic and say something. But I liked being the one in the dark, keeping everybody moving. Yes, yes. You know, and 
I, I could walk down the street and I get hey yes, yes. and still be happy with that mm -hmm. you know um, but over time I started to learn how to play guitar and I said you know what I like the engineering side you know how does sound affect people and vice versa yes and I, I stuck with that more than wanting to be uh, in front of everything which is fine too yes, but yes. I like being behind the scenes but I just talked about that with Skip how mm -hmm. our kids have been so um, sensationalized and, and mm -hmm. intrigued by all this fame and fortune mm -hmm. but a lot of them a lot of the people in front of the cameras with the fame and the fortune are not really making the money they're not really driving the Bentleys so I wanted him to talk a little bit of how to encourage kids that Mm -hmm. What you do mm -hmm. is relevant. So just say something to the youth because we, we have a lot of youth who watch the show. So right. just say something to them about the back end. Well, picture this. Picture you're a camera person, okay? And you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting. Take that camera and go and look at everybody behind you. Yes. Those are the ones who are like, I'm going to the bank. Yes. Okay? That's a good one. Those are the ones who are going to the bank. <laughs> Think about the guy or girl who has the really nice car. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Turn that camera around. They just left the dealer. Yes, yes. The dealer has multiple locations and all the cars he or she wants. Yes. Look at the bigger picture, not just what the camera is focused on. Mm -hmm. um, there are people who you'll never know their names who are multimillionaires, who write songs, who own companies, and they have those artists working for them. Yes. You know, um, I'll just say one thing too, and this is sports related and the same analogy. That's okay, yes. Um, let's take a team like the Yankees, favorite baseball team. Say their payroll is $300 million for mm -hmm. all their players. If I can afford to pay them $300 million, what do you think I'm making? Yes. Y'all better peep I'm that. just saying. Yes. If I can afford to pay them, say, oh, whoa, A-Rod's making all this money. I'm not going to pay him what I'm making. Oh, so exactly. I'm making three, four, five times what he's making. He's making. Yes. So look at the bigger picture and not just the person on the screen. And the person behind the scenes like yourself. I'm just, I just say this because I just think that I used to work... They got me to be in front of the camera because I was in management. I started at right. Flavor Unit many years oh, wow. ago. Okay. And they got me in front of the camera. But a person who's been here for 26 years, behind the scenes, doing the business part of it, mm -hmm. don't you have access to the stars and the celebrities? It's part of the job. It's pretty cool. And I've seen a lot of them from interns to superstars, van drivers to international celebrities, carrying crates to multimillionaires. And it's pretty cool. Because most have stayed the same because they paid their dues. Yes. They didn't just come in, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You're out. A lot of them yes. are just gone. Yes. They blew up for a second and blew out. See, behind the scenes, people, yeah. is where you get to shine. And that's mm -hmm. maybe you'll be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. They got me to do it. So mm -hmm. one, a couple of more questions, maybe one last question. Sure. Let's talk about giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. How important is that for you? You have to. We do, we have tons of campaigns at the station where we make sure we give back through coat drives, through, uh, we actually did uh, the food bank before, yes. where the entire station is off, and we go to the food bank and we make sure we pack food for those who are less fortunate. You have to give back, um, because it's a blessing to be where you're at. Yes. You cannot turn a blind eye, you have to. Plus, I'm in a fraternity, we do tons of stuff for the community, for kids, clothing drives, all kinds of things. Yes. You have to. Because the Movement Magazine is really about giving back. We, we always ask that question at the end, because we want people to understand how important it is when you have a platform this big. Absolutely. What are you going to use it for? Absolutely. So we just thank you for your time and your talent, and we thank can't you. wait to do this again. Absolutely. Maybe in another 26 years, I expect that <laughs> you'll be here. You come on by the mansion. I mean, okay. God, well, that, did y'all see that? <laughs> y'all saw him invite me to the mansion come now. On to, well, or, or yours. Or mine, well, exactly. yes. Oh, we exactly. didn't say whose mansion. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you guys thank you. for tuning into the Movement Magazine. I'm Trey Kearney, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Peace and blessings. Cut. Okay.